you know, the last two weeks I've been talking about Jesus as the light, or Jesus the light, or Jesus the light of the world. Well, I thought I'd come out to the light here today, and I have some of my, uh, you know, some of my friends. Well, that little dude just blew over, and I caught him. So we got, we got this little little squirrel, Luis, by popular demand. You know who you are that asked for Louise. Eh, Chomper, my buddy. And this is Ginger. I like little Ginger. She's one of my favorite. So, but I was reading uh, Proverbs chapter six, verse 23. It also talks about the light. So let's look at Proverbs six twenty-three. So as all the little dudes turn around to look, here we are. Pay attention, Chomper. Proverbs 6.23, your parents give you commands and teachings that are like light. Hmm, there's that theme again. To show you the right way. So let's go through that sentence again. Your parents give you commands and teachings that are like light to show you the right way. This teaching corrects you and trains you to follow the right path to life. Guys, turn back around. So, first of all, who wrote Proverbs? Proverbs was written by, don't be looking at my notes, Proverbs was written by King Solomon. And why did he write Proverbs? It was for like instructions, it's for wisdom and for understanding. So when it talks about your parents give you commands and teachings that are like light, light back in the Bible days, light was associated with truth. It was associated with goodness. It was associated with knowledge. And light gave you a safe place to go. It made it more clear. So when it says here, your parents give you commands and teachings that are like light. Your parents are giving you teachings and commands that are like goodness. So use that word instead. Or you can use the word knowledge. So when your parents tell you stuff, they're giving you goodness. They're giving you knowledge. They're making it safe for you. So back in the Bible days, light was a word that they would use to associate many different things. So by reading God's word, my notes go crazy. Hey, get up, buddy. Got a little windy. By reading God's word, it helps you recognize good and bad. And when you're a when when you're a not a believer, they're kind of like in spiritual darkness. Ooh, that's the opposite of light, right? Darkness. So by reading God's word, you're in God's light. So, and also, when you believe God, you can trust him, right? Yeah, you can trust him. You can trust God because he's not going to do things that are wrong for you. He's your father. He gives you commands and teachings that are truth. He's like your father, and your father's not going to tell you wrong things. And he'll give you peace and give you the right direction to go, right? It's that light. It's not in darkness. So what about if you do something wrong? What, do your parents ever correct you? Like if you did, yeah, they correct you sometimes. And you know what? God does the same thing. If we, if, if we do something wrong, he kind of corrects us. And how does he correct us? The Holy Spirit kind of tells us to get back into God's word, and God's word is that truth. It's that truth that will help you go on the right path. So if you have your Bibles in front of you, like I do, Chomper, sit on my paper. If you have your Bibles in front of you, now go to the book of Hebrews. We were in Proverbs, go to Hebrews. Hebrews is way back here in the New Testament. I have a mask there to mark my Hebrews. If you go to James, you went too far. So go to Hebrews, go to chapter 12. So I'm going to Hebrews chapter 12. The wind will probably turn the pages for me. 
Hebrews chapter 12, verses 5 and 6. Now, this has to do with when God corrects you. So, so Hebrews chapter 12, verse 5. You know, when your parents correct you, it's never, sometimes it's not pleasant either, is it? It's not that fun. But let me just see what it says in the Bible in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 5 and 6. Take a nap, guys. Verses 5 and 6. Verse 5 says, You are children of God, and he speaks words to comfort you. Have you forgotten these words? My child, don't think of God's discipline is worth nothing, and don't stop trying when he corrects you, just like your parents. When your parents discipline you, it doesn't mean nothing, okay? The Lord's discipline disciplines everyone he loves. He punishes everyone he accepts as a child. So even you just you know when your parents kind of discipline you, it's because they love you, right? So even if we as believers in Jesus, if we do something wrong, God kind of disciplines us through his word because he loves us. And sometimes discipline isn't fun, is it? Sometimes it isn't. Yep. Just like they had to get disciplined because the wind blew them over. Stay down there, buddy. They can't get back up. But sometimes it's not pleasant. But God is, a, is, is so loving. Here's another thing it says in Hebrews. So stay in Hebrews. Chapter 12, verses 7 through 11. Let me tell you what this says. Are you there? Yeah, you're there. You were just there. You better be there because you were just there anyway. So you had to just go two more verses. Hebrews 12, 7 through 11. So accept suffering like father's discipline. God does these things to you like a father correcting his children. You know that all children are disciplined by their fathers, right? Yeah. Verse 8. So if you never receive the discipline that every child must have, you are not true children and don't really belong to God because he's your father. He's going to discipline you if you do something or go off path. Verse 9, we have all had fathers here on earth who corrected us with discipline. And we respected them, right? You respect your fathers. Yep. So it is even more important that we accept the discipline from the father, father above, right? So if God is going to discipline us because we did something, we should accept that and respect it. If we do this, we will have life. We'll have life, he says. Our fathers on earth disciplined us for a short time in a way they thought was best. But God disciplines us to help us so that we can be holy like him. Holy like him, Chomper. Verse 11. We don't enjoy discipline when we get it, right? No. It is painful. But later, after we have learned our lesson from it, we will enjoy the peace that comes from doing what is right. So when your parents discipline you, it's not pleasant right away. But in the long run, it's the right thing for you. Same thing with God when he disciplines us. So, let's go back to our verse. Our parents give you commands and teachings that are like light to show you the right way. This teaching corrects you and trains you to follow the path of life. So remember these three things, guys. Number one, your parents teach you to show you the light. They teach you to show you the light, what is right and what is wrong, right? Mm -hmm. Your Father in heaven does the same thing. He teaches you the light, what is right and what is wrong. And Jesus shows you, shows you the light from the darkness. The darkness is your sin, and the light of the world is Jesus, the one that can save you from your sins. So, your parents correct you to show you the light, right? What is right, which is light, 
in what is wrong, which is what you did wrong. God does the same thing. He corrects you when to show you the light and shows you when you're wrong, the darkness. And then Jesus saves you from your sin, which is the darkness, because he is the light. So listen to your parents. Read God's word for understanding and believe in Jesus that he is the light that saves you from your sin because he gave it all. So I want to thank our squirrel. I want to thank Louise who was by popular demand came back. Chomper, my favorite little buddy. And then there's Ginger. She's a simple little bear, but Ginger is like all of us. Sometimes we're simple, and sometimes we could be as simple as this little bear. But we know that Jesus' light shines on Ginger just like he shines on you. So, as simple as Ginger, just like you guys, choose the light. So, as Ginger waves goodbye, I'll see you next time.